Maine is home to a booming tourism industry with visitors from across the country and around the world flocking to our towns and cities. But is there ever too much of a good thing? That's what one Maine destination is grappling with now as a lawsuit over a cap on cruise ship passengers goes in front of a judge. Here's New Center Maine's Donovan Lynch. Right now, the town of Bar Harbor on trial in federal court, defending a limit to the number of tourists coming ashore. I think we're really reaching a, a soul searching point in the life of our town. Last fall, voters approved a cap on cruise ship passengers at 1,000 a day. The new rule is set to take effect next year, but faces a key challenge from a number of local business owners. They say it threatens their bottom line. Uh, it's a very real possibility that we and many other stores will have to close if this goes through. Allison Barnes runs Penelope's gift shop in downtown with her mother. She's also a supporter of the Association to Preserve and Protect Local Livelihoods, or Apple. That's the group suing the town of Bar Harbor. They argue the cruise ship cap is unconstitutional, and that it's up to the federal government, not the town, to regulate maritime business. But others see it differently. You really need to listen to the residents of Bar Harbor who voted overwhelmingly to limit cruise ship visitation. Gary Friedman has served on the Bar Harbor Town Council for more than a decade. He and other locals, like Melissa Rowland, say the cruise ship cap is long overdue. Over the last few years, it's, there have been so many cruise ships that it's almost become unbearable for the people who live here. A report from the town last year predicts the new ordinance could cut the number of cruise ship passengers coming to Bar Harbor by up to half during certain weeks of the year. But for some business owners, this goal is a worst case scenario. If everyone would just sit down and make a list of what's going to be missing from this town and what jobs are going to be lost, it will be incredible. Still, even without any limits in place, a majority of tourists in Bar Harbor come by land, not sea. The trial is expected to continue throughout the week here at the federal courthouse in Bangor. We'll, of course, keep you updated as we learn more. Donovan Lynch, New Center, Maine.